One day, as I was leaving for my karate training, I stopped to feed the cat. I was in a pretty bad mood. I was having a hard time figuring out why the commodity futures I was trading were moving like they were, and I had lost some money on a few bad trades that day. Needless to say, I was ready to take out some of my aggression at karate. Anyway, I was opening the can of cat food when suddenly, I realized something. I realized that we are surrounded by goods and products that are made from the commodities that are traded on futures exchanges. The raw materials used to make the t-shirt on my back, the furniture in my house, and the can I was holding in my hand are all part of the futures market. I had been trying to memorize each little detail about each futures contract and what makes each one go up and down in price, but I had forgotten the bigger picture. I had forgotten that all the commodities I was looking at are affected by my life and the broad world around me. Suddenly it clicked. I realized that I knew a lot more about commodities than I gave myself credit for simply because I use commodities every day. Plus, if you read the paper or watch the news, you can't help but see stories on oil prices, food prices, and so on. Now don't get me wrong, understanding the specifics of each futures contract is also important. You need to know what month your futures contracts will expire and how much money you are making or losing when prices change. But if you can put the details in the framework of the larger picture of supply and demand and what you see happening in the world around you, you'll be much happier. It's like those paintings by George Seurat. You know, the ones he painted using thousands and thousands of little dots? If you get too close and just stare at the little dots, they don't mean a lot. But if you take a step back and look at the whole thing, you can see how all those little dots come together to make a beautiful picture. Take crude oil, for instance. Yes, it's definitely important to know that oil contracts move in penny increments, but it's also important to know that growth in China and India are increasing demand for oil, and that increasing demand typically leads to higher prices. After some thinking, I saw how this logic can be applied to most of the commodities I was trading, such as gold and silver, wheat and corn, and so on. You'll see what I mean when you start going through the material in this section. I also had additional motivation to look at the big picture because I knew I'd need to deal with fluctuating prices from suppliers when I started my restaurant. So I figured I might as well find a way to profit from those price movements. It's funny, who would have thought all that could have come to me from a little can of cat food?